Let's go. So I screwed up. I'm Jamie, and I'm a video producer at Assurian. Over the last year, I've gotten married and bought my first house. Now it's time to make that home sweet home smart. I'll do it with a little help from my friends and our Assurian experts. This is Home Smart Home. When I first started collecting smart home products, it was more for fun, like asking Google to tell me a joke or play games. But now that I've seen the possibilities of what they can do, I find myself prioritizing home security. I've already set up smart hubs, speakers, and a video doorbell. So check out our other episodes if you wanna see more of that. And be sure to hit the little bitty subscribe button in the corner here to keep following along. I like the peace of mind the video doorbell brings. So now I wanna add a security camera to the backyard too. I've also been accused by a certain family member of forgetting to lock the back door on a regular basis. So in order to maintain peace in the kingdom, we decided to add a smart lock to our security arsenal. Let's head over to the office to take a closer look. I've already done a ton of research on cameras and locks and have a pretty good idea of what we want. Outdoor cameras have a lot of the same features as the video doorbell. Two-way talk, motion zones, and night vision are all standard on most of the cameras I've seen. Here are the two I'm considering the brand new Arlo Essential Spotlight, and the Nest Outdoor IQ. My first instinct was to get a Nest IQ camera since we already have the Nest hubs and cameras in place, but holy moly that price tag. It has a 4K sensor and can do facial recognition, which is cool, but not $400 cool. The Arlo Essential is much easier on the wallet and has a few more features that I want, like a built-in siren and spotlight. I wanted a wireless camera for easier installation, but Nest only offers wired options. Arlo claims to integrate with the Google Nest hubs, so if that's true, I think it's worth the savings to give it a shot. Now for the smart locks. I was impressed with the Schlagen code and the August Wi-Fi. Both locks aren't cheap, but they come with built-in Wi-Fi and have physical key slots. The Schlage has multiple options for colors and styles, as well as a numbered keypad. The August lock only has two color options, but works with your existing deadbolt, so you can keep your keys. I was originally sold on the Schlage until I read about August's door sense feature. This will tell you if the door is physically open. Okay, enough research. The Arlo and the August are purchased and on their way. I'll unbox them after this brief montage of Bella. They're both here. Let's get started. That was pretty easy. I downloaded the Arlo app and it walks you through the steps. It took about 15 minutes total. Now I wanna see how it integrates with my Google Nest Hub. To get it working with my Hub, I went into the Google Home app and set up device. I gave permission for Google to access my Arlo account and added the camera to the rest of my smart home. Hey Google, show me backyard camera. She's thinking about it. Got it, streaming the backyard on kitchen display. thinking about it. Just added it, so I'll be gentle. Hey Google, show me backyard camera. Okay, streaming the backyard on kitchen. There it is. There's the backyard. Looks like it's working. There was a little bit of delay the first try, but I'd be interested to see how it works moving forward. Okay, let's go set up the smart lock. Except it won't be the August Wi-Fi smart lock. Well, I screwedy screwed up, didn't check the compatibility on the lock, and it doesn't look like the August smart lock is gonna work on my deadbolt. So, goodbye Dorsons, hello keypad, and prettier aesthetic of the Schlage. To the store to go get it. Take two with our smart lock. Here's the Schlage and code. We got the hardware for the lock. The lock itself, here's a feature I'm really excited about. We got a keypad, looks really sleek. Let's get it installed.
I downloaded the Schlage Home app, followed some straightforward instructions. All you need is 20 minutes and a Phillips head screwdriver and we are installed. All I do is push this lock button and there it goes. This lock has a lot of features, so I'm gonna test them out and report back in a week. It's been a fun week testing out my new camera and lock, and here are a few of my favorite features so far. For the Arlo Essential, I really liked that it integrated well with my Google Home app and my Nest Hubs. I can say a voice command, and a few seconds later see my backyard here on the screen. The other feature I like on the Arlo is the colored night shot. It's more pleasing to look at than an infrared image, and I feel like there's more detail in the video too. The smart lock hasn't been a big game changer, but it has been nice to have for a few reasons. First of all, I haven't had to leave the bed and go lock the back door at all this week. I set up the auto lock feature and it locks the door on its own after a set amount of time. I also created unique access codes for my husband and one of the neighbors. So if we're out of town, they can come and feed the cat or get in the house in case there's an emergency. Another benefit of having unique access codes is being able to see who's coming and going in the history log. This will be especially helpful when we're traveling or have guests staying with us. Even though we're home all the time now, they do give an extra sense of security. And I look forward to using them more when we're away in the future. Well, that's it for this episode. We found out that different brands can integrate with my Google Nest Hubs. Now I'm going to try to automate them using routines, so keep an eye out for that in the future. If you want to keep following along on my smart home adventures, be sure to hit that subscribe button.